Hello, my narcissistic abuse family. Whew, dropping stuff. So, I'm talking about a topic today that's kind of sensitive for all of us. We were trained from the jump with narcissistic, toxic parents that we have to please everyone around us before ourselves. Our needs are irrelevant. We are trained to be people pleasers, particularly narc pleasers, right? Everything revolves around the narcissistic parent, but ultimately it ends up being that our feelings, our presence, our identity is to be tabled. It's to be put in the back seat. We are the last priority. We are taught to totally deny our autonomy, our individuality. So this is something that takes a while to work through and to overcome. But absolutely, once you identify it within yourself, you can move past it. You can overcome anything. So what I'm talking about is let them hate you. So the narcissist in your life inevitably hates you because why else would they target you, right? And the reason why they hate you is actually complimentary. They hate you because they ain't you. They hate you because you possess the admirable qualities that they do not have, that they will never have. And so they want to snuff you out because they can't take the threat, essentially. And that's how narcissists view the world. Everyone and everything is an adversary. They're in constant competition with everyone around them. They are waging war all the time for the gross injustices that they are burdened with in life. Because I've spoken of this before, narcissists have an external locus of control. They never take accountability. They never take responsibility for their, their part in any of the effects happening around them. Unless it's good, right? If it's good, then it's all them. But anything negative or adversary, they will never, ever self-reflect. They will, will never acknowledge their part in anything negative. So narcissists inevitably hate you, which is why they target you. So if it's your parent, um, they just, they, it's, so absurd, particularly if you are a parent yourself at this point in life. But looking back, thinking about your own parent being envious of their child, it's, it's essentially preposterous. But that's where they are operating. That is the mind frame, the mentality of these disordered individuals. Just because you're their child, you have youth on your side and obviously chronologically you can't stop the clock. So these people are aging. Narcissists do not age well. They're always clinging to their youth because that afforded them the most tools to their advantage to manipulate, particularly their looks, their charm, their anything that they can leverage to benefit themselves, they do it. And as they get older, the superficiality that they cling to starts evading them and they hate it. So they target people because they hate us. And I'm saying, let it happen, man. It's like we were trained our entire lives to constantly please these people, to always put ourselves in the background. We're always trained to be people pleasers. With a narcissistic parent, all that mattered was the 
outside perception. So you're always taught to put on a show, to slap on a smile, to overcome whatever feelings you might be having on your own. So they hate us. Let it be. It's it goes against everything that we've been trained, toxically programmed to people please, but this is part of healing is just being able to step back and be like, you know what? It's not my problem. And as you mature through life, you start to accept the fact that anyone's problem with you or anyone's hostility, aggression through life is based off their own issues. People project everything. Everyone that acts out or targets someone else is doing it out of envy or something that's lacking within themselves. So I'm saying that at this point in your life, just accept the fact that there will be people that hate you and particularly it will be the narcissist they hate you because we're educating ourselves and we're getting out from the manipulation and being under their cloud of negativity and that means that we're not able to be controlled anymore and 98 percent of the narcissist's malicious actions come from their incessant need to control everything everything and everyone around them and when they cannot do that they will hate you and this can be applied to life in general there's people out there that just don't like you just because you're awesome because you're a good person you have endearing qualities i i feel like i can speak generally about the narcissistic abused victim community, I feel like we have gone through so much that we have gotten a really good grip on our priorities in life and what other people think and living that phony, phony life that is empty essentially is like nothing that we care to participate in anymore at this juncture in our lives so there's going to be people that hate that people that are constantly feeling like they need to be in competition with others and we don't possess that superficiality anymore I, i've done several posts it's like we're allergic to the bs to the phoniness because we were inundated with it so much growing up. And then I was sadly, unfortunately, in a relationship with a narcissist later in life. He was totally consumed and obsessed with superficiality and appearances. So when you're able to get to that point in your life where that stuff has no bearing on what you do, your decisions, and your happiness, that's a great place to be. And narcissists and other toxic people will hate it. They will despise you for it. Because misery loves company. I constantly bring this up as a foundation for narcissism. Misery loves company and unhappy people want everyone around them to be unhappy as well. So they're constantly trying to drag others down. So it's a beautiful place to be, to get there in life where it's like somebody hates you. Okay, that's them. You know, it's not me. It's not anything I've done. I live to be a good person. I do right by others. And if someone does not appreciate that, they have no place in your life. That's where I'm at. That's what I want. I wish for all of you. I love you all, my narcissistic abuse family. Please like and subscribe. Uh, share this with anyone you think it might benefit. I love you all.
and I will be back with more. This was my message this week. Hope it benefits you.